So we've got vertical group accounting, vertical group accounting, We've got vertical group accounting, and the first question, as I mentioned, is ACR. And these baby questions, all they do is just get you going as regards to the minority interest, which is really the key to, the, to, to this subject. So A buys C, and C buys R. Let's just get the relationships, the ownership percentages between these entities. A parent A buys 60% of entity C, which in turn buys 60% of entity R. So it's 60% and 60%. Um, the question, whoops, a little bit farther. The question is calculate the minority interest in the group. Well, what we really need to know is what's the minority interest in R. So what I'm going to do is I think I'll highlight R, actually. So we're going to highlight R, and I'll just point at it, and I'll ask what's the ownership in R. I'll ask what's the ownership in R. Well, if A owns 60% of C and C owns 60% of R, then I guess A owns 60% of 60% of R. And that's how it works, 36%. It's not too difficult, that, is it? So it's 60% of 60%, which is equal to 36%. So that bit's quite easy. But hang on. Is R a subsidiary or an associate? Well, it'll be a subsidiary if we have control. Now, do we have control of R? When I say we, of course, I mean A, the parent. So the parent has 60% of C, and C has 60% of the sub-sub down at the bottom, R. Now, we, the parent, can pass an ordinary resolution in the middle entity, and the middle entity can pass an ordinary resolution in the one below, right? So, if anyone argues with us down in R, if anyone argues with us down in R, we tell C to sack them. If anyone argues with us about sacking the guys down in R, if anyone argues with us in C, we sack them. <laughs> so as you can see, we have an unbroken chain of potential ordinary resolutions. We have an unbroken chain of majority resolutions. So we have the power to sack anyone we like down in R. And if we have the power to do that, then we have control. When we say jump, they will say how high. So we have control. If we have control, then R is a subsidiary. R is a subsidiary. That's why it's called a sub-sub, because it is a subsidiary. But it's a subsidiary in which we hold less than half of the ownership, which is a little odd, isn't it? Which means that the minority interest is actually in the majority. Let me show you the maths. The minority interest... Minority interest... is always defined as the entire entity less what you own. In other words, it's what the other guys own. Well, if we own 36%, and of course we have control of the entire entity, 100%, then I guess 64%. 64% must be the MI which is a little odd, I think you'll, you'll agree. 